Oh my god! Cozy's evil twin! Why are you so? My jumping my tune down! Okay, alright. If you're one of the people who click on these just to get annoyed at me talking about what I feel about Toontown Town rewritten, they click off. Oh my god! Um, uh, yeah, in all seriousness, I don't think it's even going to be that negative. Uh, I, maybe I'm going to be wrong. I've skimmed this like an hour or two ago. Um, and I have seen like my general like Discord's reaction to this. I don't know the overall community's reaction. Um, I think I'm pretty positive about all this. There's a few things I think are a bit silly, like, uh, the thing in the title. But overall, like, um, I get on board with this update. There's a few things that I find a little questionable, like the thing that's in the title. Um, and the, um, the fact that I kind of don't really know who this update's made for, because I feel like it's not different enough to, um, to get people who, like, have already moved over to, like, Clash, um, or who don't play both to, like, come back to TTR, but I think it's kind of too different for the, like, you know, TTO, you know, players. I know some TTR players who stopped playing TTR when the Field Office update came out, and I'm serious about that. They had 137 max laugh tune, and they did one Field Office, so they didn't like it, and then it was done. So, like, that kind of player does exist. I Is that type of player rare? More rare than, like, you know, <laughs> I make it out to be? I don't know. I don't really care about that type of player in this discussion. I'm just going to try to, you know, discuss what I personally think of, of these changes. I'm going to try to keep the Clash situ situation or, like, oh my god, it's, they're copying from Clash out of this. Because if they are copying from Clash... uh. It depends. Some some changes that they take are, like, good. Um, others probably don't make too much sense. And if they copy from Clash in a way that benefits TTR, I have a hard time complaining. That seems very petty of me to complain. But, <laughs> alright. This is Under New Management update. As part of the Under New Management expansion, the game design department over at the Toontown Re... Over at Toontown Re... I'm so... I'm so used to them calling themselves the Toon Down team, oh my god, has decided to take another bold step. With the game's second ever battle rebalancing update, this particular update is designed to be in conjunction with the revamp of all COG facilities. Um, so revamp uh, probably should be in quotations. It's not. It's just normal revamp. But, um, a not really full revamp. Associated grind with COG disguise promotions. We believe both aspects are needed for this to be complete. Um, the under new management update provided us a rare opportunity to shape and direct to Nero's future, and the content yet to come will be covering some changes made gags, battle mechanics, and other insights regarding end game grind of cog disguises. If you're longing to know player and very familiar with the current meta, don't fret. Um, okay, so they say this here. Now, I, <sighs> I was talking to, um, jimmy about this when this first came out um and kind of about the play test in in general it for anyone who doesn't know um they're basically doing a play test it's kind of like a test tune down thing um it's a test server of this update I, it's a little like what clash did with the um with the 1.3 but um the thing i mentioned to jimmy is like how far along is this update and we kind of came to the conclusion that like this update's probably like finished <laughs> i don't really think that the playtest is really to be a playtest clash's update was to be a playtest they messed around with tons of mechanics there were tons of changes it was honestly a little frustrating in its own right because the community would catch into flames every like other day when there was a patch that got reversed there was like 10 different builds um, I think there was 10 different builds. I don't think that's an exaggeration. But, um, yeah, long story short, they were actually trying to playtest it. I kind of think TTR has made up their mind here. Um, and I think this is kind of just, like, cope. Uh, honestly, I, I don't think any of this is really in change. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, if I'm wrong, then, uh, well, there you go. You got, uh, me being wrong, uh, in recording for everyone to see. Hooray! Okay, anyways. Um, we aim to preserve what makes Tuna special. We aim to observe what makes Tunet special for so many of our players, while adding what we feel will help 
Those battles continue to stand out as newer challenges get added to the game. Okay, Cog Battle Calculations. So this is a weird one. Um, Stun Bonus. So, oh god, this is in the weeds. I like how we're starting off with something like kind of in the weeds. Um, already. So I think a lot of people don't really know this. Uh, if you've played Clash, I, I guess... I've, hello, uh, well, I'm not going to talk too much about Clash. Um, I feel like Clash is just the best example of this, though. Um, Tune Up basically always gives you an accuracy bonus if uh, someone uses it. This was kind of true in um, Tune Down Online, as they put it. In Tune Down Online, all battle actions had granted the passive ability to increase the accuracy of upcoming gag actions. Actions, I said that weird. In the same round, by 20% each. This is considered a hidden mechanic and is proven to be quite an appreciated quirk in gameplay. However, it doesn't entirely make sense. And they're right about this. Uh, think how you stun before uh, using, like, draw, for example. I think, I think, I think, I think, pretty much anything acts as a stun in Toontown um, to the point where it's a little silly. Like, you can do pretty much anything. I remember I looked, forget who it was, I remember I looked through the coding of Toontown that someone um, went through, like, way back and it's one of the weirdest things in the Toontown Code, um, where I think, like, calling a doodle even, like, acts as a stun in, like, the original code. Don't quote me on that. It's been, like, a decade since I've really dug into it. Um, but, yeah. So, basically, <laughs> I, I, get, I get where they're coming from in this. It's one of those weird changes where it's, like, they're doing pretty much what Clash did, where it's, let's actually make this a real mechanic instead of, like, a really, you know not fleshed out <laughs> quirk of the code um trap placements successful lures reward usage successful doodle tricks and successful tune-ups okay yeah successful doodle tricks yeah yeah okay i was right <laughs> and no longer grant stun bonuses so yeah okay so basically these don't act as a stun anymore but damage dealing gags such as trap activation hits sound hits throw hits Squirt hits will now grant a stun bonus of 25%. Note drop hits would also be accounted for, but no battles. Battle actions occur after drop. That's a weird specification. No SOS cards that utilize damaging gags do perform stuns. So basically, this makes sense, I think. Um, I think the old system was outdated. It was kind of like a lot of people didn't realize how it worked. It didn't make sense for successful doodle tricks reward usage. It's even acted as stuns. Like, that's goofy. Um, okay. Is, is lure now considered less reliable? In the sense of group battles, yes, but don't worry. Uh, yeah, there's kind of an asterisk there. We'll get back to that. Is trap considered nerfed if lure is less reliable? Yes. As trap is now completely reliant on lure's low accuracy. Um, okay, so they changed some other things. This is a bit weird because it's like, okay, they get back to this. Battle panel interface. One of the most requested features from the community is the addition of vi visible health numbers on the cogs themselves. We understand that players want to perfect their strategy, preference in combat, and we very much value the visual simplicity of our battles and its user interface. And our, our vision with the combat system is it is... Uh, blah, blah, okay. So basically, okay, this is like corporate speak for uh we don't want you to see the exact hp of the cogs um i this is one thing that like and i guess I, to be fair to ttr i think a lot of developers do things like this sometimes where they just like <laughs> don't <care. laughs> they basically just see things certain things a um away and they're stubborn about it and they don't want to change it the cog health is one of those things on TTR. I think chat log is another one of those things TTR does. That's discussion for another day, though. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, basically, um, they ch this is their compromise. It's We don't want to put the uh, exact cog, you know, health, but we'll put a bar that, you know, illustrates it, I guess, a bit more. I kind of, I feel like TTR, it's weird with these half steps because it's like, well, you didn't really address the problem, guys problem is people wanted the exact like number and like i don't know making a bar 
isn't really a compromise you, you still could see with this one like if it's green oh they have a lot of health left and like okay so now the bar will move i it's okay i kind of silly i guess like i it looks the same i feel like i think it's just they just reversed it okay this is kind of silly i i it's okay i sure cool i really have no no real comments on this it just is it's just i don't know why you even bothered to do this anyways okay gag balancing and sometimes since the last gag balancing update that version 3 sublet field losses provided us with provided for us as the first stepping stone in getting our gag tracks on the same level of viability this rebalancing update is a little more ambitious than before um okay so right <laughs> um uh, so tune up is in a decent position right now i talk about all these gag changes of 3.0 in my field office review script that i never actually released maybe i'll release it if i people always tell me they want me to release it but i'm always like i feel like it's too far gone and we're just so far past the point of field offices that like eh but um yeah i would agree that tune up is in a decent place uh as of the field office update um but yeah i i go over all the gag changes in the field office review um so i guess let me know if you still want me to release that if i Still had, like, a lot of editing to do on it, and then it was like, oh, I don't think many people care too much about field office review since, like, we're literally talking about, like, the next big update here, which is kind of crazy for Toontown since, you know, <laughs> oh my god, things actually happening in Toontown? I know, it's, it's, it's literally baffling. Anyways, um, organic tune up is 20% now. I, I don't think it's useful now. I sure. Um, I I don't know. It's still a meme. I sure. Cool. Whoa. Whoa. It's something. I guess. I I don't know. Throw's always been well known. So this I think is stupid. Um. <laughs> so they decreased organic throw, and it is true. Organic throw was kind of. Uh, I won't say it's OP, but it definitely was the best organic. Asterix maybe tnt is better um asterix if you're an elitist maybe sound is better for organic but i question this because why did you bother nerfing it when the two most combinations used with this you know build for lack of a better term used with this um used with organic throw are still in the game why in the world did you nerf it like, what's the point? Isn't the point when you nerf something in a turn-based game like this that, like, okay, we're going to nerf this because we don't want it to do, like, X, Y, and Z anymore. But then it's like, you nerfed it, but you can't give me a good qualifying reason <laughs> for why you nerfed it. Um, To allow other organics to shine better. I've always thought that it's a little different with Boiler now, but I've always kind of thought that the thing with organic throw is this. It allows level 11, it kills level 11s with organic cake, level 5, green pie. Um, was there an interaction? Oh my god, I, oh, I'm getting so old. Um, I, <laughs> I always would do this in old videos. Um, was there another interaction that they're not <laughs> pointing out? I don't think, maybe there wasn't, maybe there was, oh my god. I always would do this in videos where I would, like, forget a lot of, like, very basic, like, combinations. And people in the comments would always be like, oh my god, how, how are you forgetting? How are you forgetting when you play this game so long? I'm like, I... I, I <laughs> uh, these days, though, since they're actually changing things, I have a little more, you know, leniency. I doubt the comments will be as nice or nicer about it, but, like, throw... Um, I, I don't really see the point. I guess the boiler will take less damage um, if you have organic throw. I feel like it was trivial to begin with. Like, 10 extra? Okay, now it's 5 extra? I just, okay, ugh. Any, I question it. Okay, with stunning rehauled, we have indirectly nerfed lure overall. Yes! Okay, alright. So, I, I bring this up in the field loss review too, but um, <laughs> lure is broken. Lure is stupidly broken. It probably should be nerfed. It definitely should be nerfed. Good. Tune up and trap will no longer help with its accuracy. Okay. Because of this, we'll be tweaking some accuracy adjustments that will help lower level lure gags feel more reliable. 
In the last balance patch, we got rid of a hidden mechanic that could stack lure rounds when multiple lure gags were used in the same turn. We realized this was a niche dynamic and have decided to bring back a new vision where the lure gag can synergize with itself. This multi-lure dynamic allows groups to improve their lure accuracy by choice. So, I think this is a very good idea. I think this, this might be the best gag-related change in the update. So, higher-leveled lure gags now override the base accuracy of lower-leveled. This, although it is it ruins the, uh, the lure trolling, the double lure trolling, um... This is a mechanic that I never really knew if TTR removed. It's something I ask over and over in videos. Like, I don't know if this still works. I don't know if this still works. I'm a little surprised it took them this long to remove this. I'm pretty sure it's pretty much always been like this in Clash. Um, it should just round up. Yeah. But um, anyways, Organic Lure now shifts the base accuracy of Lure by an additional 10%. Uh, rather than being an additive bonus during the battle ca calculation. New multi-lure mechanic. Here's the big one. Multi-lure gags of the same type used simultaneously will grant a bonus of 20% per additional lure gag. Group lures paired with another gag lure yield lure bonus. Dollar bills paired with another dollar bill yield lure bonus. <laughs> Group lures and dollar bills used simultaneously do not grant lure bonus. So, basically, you have a reason to, a very good reason now, to use multiple lure gags on one turn. Um, and this is, I, 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 one of the biggest issues with lure was never that it was, like, the most broken thing in the game, even though it was. And that's not even the gag track everyone uses. Um, <laughs> it's just telling a tune down, isn't it? But, um, the big issue I had with it is that only one person really needed it, and then you were just set. Like, okay, one person needs it, and then it, who cares? Um, and this had a weird dynamic where it's like, although it's the most powerful thing in the game, no one really needs it. <laughs> you only need, like, one person to have it. And honestly, like, so many people had it anyway that, like, if you left it off, you're probably fine. Um, like, refund lure, it, that was kind of a clash thing. It's not really a clash thing anymore. Old meme kind of died. But, hey. <laughs> Let's get to the uh, other big one. It's time to address the elephant trunk in the room. Everyone is keenly aware of how powerful sound gags are in Toontown. How fancy. I don't know why I'm doing horse fine haze voice. So much so that Toontown Online's cock facilities revolved around, revolved around them. The new management's design goal to reduce facility grind, duration, and other bloating aspects, we're experimenting with the idea of resource management to give it more strategic value. In turn, this gives other gag tracks better attention as sound gags now need to be used resourcefully. So, okay, this is a little bit of a weird statement because, um, uh, and it's a weird statement because this is already how sound works. It's very valuable. <laughs> Everyone already is very keen on resource management with sound, more so than other gag tracks. To compensate, cog facilities and boss battles have been reevaluated in the amount of cogs that dwell inside them. In addition, we're adjusting the experience thresholds to earn new sound gags. 20? Okay. This is weird. That's really weird. I, okay. Um, okay, whatever. By removing the bloat of cog facilities and bosses having too many cogs, we feel more comfortable. And letting sound gags take a step back from the spotlight. Players can anticipate all run-throughs to feel more impactful where less is more. So, I don't I don't know where the, um... I feel like there's two things going on at once here. Where they're like, okay, we don't want you to just spam sound. But... We're going to lower the cog amounts to make it so you don't have to spam as much sound. But we're going to, like, take away some sound. And we're going to be honest, if you ever nerf sound too much, you're going to actually kill this. <laughs> and, like, I say a lot of hyperbolic things like that, that, like, uh, are obviously being hyperbolic. I don't really think that's hyperbolic about sound. I think um, every MMO, or at least every borderline casual to semi-casual MMO pretty much needs a attack like sound you need a casual like win button um i think most mmos have this at least in again in the casual aspect in the casual 
you know, genre. Um, Wizards version of this is obviously the seven pip AOE that you get at the end of the first arc, level 40, 48 ish. Um, and uh, the designers basically pretty much said that they made that beyond the, um, the power curve because they wanted players to easily progress from that point forward to have easy progression. I think, and sound is basically, you know, that version or that, you know, but in Toontown, I really, really think that Toontown's gameplay loop, I, Toontown might not be the greatest game ever. And I, <laughs> this could be another video. This could be another whole discussion for another day. Toontown isn't the greatest game ever. It really isn't. It has a decent gameplay loop though, like genuinely. Um, and I say a lot of nonsense. Uh, I say a lot of negative things about Toontown, but I really do believe that. Um, the like whole, you know, getting your promotion, fighting the boss, that gameplay loop, even the frames, you know, when you're working through the playgrounds, I think the gameplay loop is really quite solid. Um, and I, I really feel like if you, if you nerf sound too much, the game just becomes a slog. It just becomes really, really, really big. Um, it just becomes a huge hassle. Anyways, though, decrease the maximum carrying capacity of all sound gags. It's what trap used to be. <laughs> okay, great. Um, I don't know. Restock sound is still a thing. I, I kind of think that people are going to make a big deal about this. Um, and it's not that big of a deal. It's going to barely make a difference. I could be wrong, maybe. I don't know. Um, we're aiming for all facilities to be completed within 20, 30 minutes. So, like, they're streamlining it, but I almost feel like, why are they... If they're streamlining it, then why are you taking away more sound? I don't know. Uh, the, the, the. Drop. Drop isn't a perfect spot right now. Oh, my God. I am annoyed by that statement. The s new stunning mechanics have indirectly aided it as damaging gags will help its accuracy better than before. We're just changing the accuracy description. <laughs> so, drop is still garbage. And now it says very low. So, like, it kind of looks like a nerf. <laughs> Even though it's not. Um, low to very low. Is anything else low? Oh, I guess lure is low. Um, so, like, drop annoys me. R drop really annoys me. Really annoys me. I go on a... I, I went on a rant about this on streams. Um, yeah, I stream on Twitch. LOL. Their description link. Um, but, like, in the field office update 3.0... They buffed safe. It used to do 60 damage, now it does 70. I have no earthly idea what a 70 damage safe can do that a 60 damage safe can't. I have racked my brain about this one topic way too much. I can't I can't come to any conclusions. It's just not a thing. Um I have no earthly idea how they sat there, discussed that drop, needed a buff. And then somehow landed on the conclusion that giving the safe 10 more damage would somehow fix this. Like, I don't know what, what conversation did the designers have with each other? So like, I assume someone was really gunning for like a drop buff, but like some of the higher ups, the people, you know, who actually make the decisions <laughs> weren't too sold on it. And the compromise after a lot of arguing um, well, not really arguing, but just kind of, you know, discussions going back and forth was like, okay, I don't know, we'll give it like, you know, 10 extra damage. I really am irritated by, um, it, dra it traps a little better right now because of the, it's still kind of meh, but, um, I really just dislike Toontown and how it, and how, um, <laughs> I need to, I need to start wording things better right now <laughs> i really just, just like tune no but um i really dislike how toontown basically um differentiates its attacks i really think it is a crime that two of the gag tracks in the game are just objectively worse than everything else and for a while trap was just a complete meme gag track it was actual garbage ttr um so, okay, they didn't do anything trap except uh, that they lower the... I don't know why they're being so hyperbolic. Uh, maybe not hyperbolic. I don't know why they're caring to change these numbers. Genuinely. Is, uh, was anyone like, you know what? A quicksand needs to be 500. 800 is too much. Like, why? What kinds of discussions are TTR having that are 
making these decisions. I, I don't know. It's a little bit baffling to me because, uh, I, I okay, I shouldn't focus too much time on, on whining about that. <laughs> because it's twofold. It's like, why did they do that? But me complaining about why they did that is kind of stupid because it's not a big deal. But the discussion of how they landed upon that, and I know they said, because someone's going to be, be like this in the comments. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I know. They had a discussion because they said, well, we you get trapped late in the game. So you got it. You should be able to upgrade it faster. Is, I, I, is that really an argument? I, I don't know. Anyways, level seven gag carrying capacity as a later part as as part of a later expansion of the Subbot Task Force. The last laugh introduced a new final reward for players to carry one additional level seven gag of their choosing. Naturally, most players have found their selection to also be their preferred organic gag track. I don't know why you would. Oh, I see what the issue... Oh, okay. Understandably, this gag rebalance may stir a couple of concerns, as people's organics may change in preference. So, so may their level 7 gag can... Okay, okay. Now, I find this really funny. No, this optional toon task is considered extremely tedious! <laughs> to deter constant swapping. <laughs> Why? Guys, 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 guys. So they're like, okay, all right. Here's the thing. We had a permanent upgrade as a reward later in the task line. Okay? Now, the problem with this was, basically, people would always make it their organic gag. Now, you can change your organic gag, but you can't change this permanent upgrade. So, we're going to make a way that you can change said permanent upgrade. Okay? So, it's no longer permanent. But, we really don't want you changing it too much, so we're going to make it tedious. <laughs> it's like, okay, sure. Um, it... I guess to be fair, uh, changing an organic gag is really, really tedious as well. That's a huge hassle, having to dig up all the trees, replant them, wait another 30 days or whatever it is, 38-ish days. Um, so yeah, I kind of liked, I, this is a weird thing where I think this is a good streamlining thing. Like, I, you probably should be able to switch it. Um, I did kind of like how it was another gag decision that like made your tune a little more unique um which toontown has like one it's like what gag track do you want to leave off and it's like if, <laughs> if that gag track isn't like drop or trap uh, everyone is like wow you're an idiot um but like i i <laughs> it's not that big of a deal i don't know how many people even really have this i'm gonna be honest this is like ultra elitist territory i think right okay anyways Reinforced plating. We introduced a new mechanic that defined what version 2 cogs were in support of our debuted status effects that came with the release field losses. Though it uh, certainly flipped the combat strategies in boss butt headquarters, it also in itself uh, it also showed itself to be a nuisance to fight overall. We recognize that a lot of players have been struggling to accustom uh, to the defense attribute. So, okay. I've seen this because of Roulette Wheel, because of the newer Roulette Wheel episodes uh, CEO. I don't really know what this what this <laughs> status effect did, if I'm going to be honest. Because in that series, I literally just... My gags are random. Everything's random. Uh, so I never really have taken a good look at what this mechanic does. Um, so... I think... Um, I see. Okay, this is fascinating, actually. So, basically, the idea here is, um, they want you to have to use multiple types of gags to try to figure out a way to destroy the version 2 cog because it will still attack. This is fascinating. This is actually a gameplay thing. My biggest issue with version 2 cogs is they have nothing gameplay related. You destroy one of them, then, oh no, a Skelecog, and then you destroy another Skelecog. The carryover damage in Toonan Online was terrible. No one knew really how it, how it worked. People who knew how it worked uh, were not the best at explaining how it works sometimes. <laughs> I didn't understand how it worked until way, way, way later. 
I still don't really know how it works depending on the day. I think I know how it works. I don't really care enough to talk about how it works right now. <laughs> the old mechanic. Um, but this is an actual like gameplay thing. The fact that if you only knock off the first form of the cog and it will attack in skull cog mode, that is cool. That's actually like a gameplay mechanic. Um, so if you don't want to get hit, you're going to have to um, you're going to have to work around that, and that's another you know another layer. This also makes tune up a bit better because it's something that's harder to actually avoid. Um, cogs that actually do damage. Okay. Anyways um promotion experience points but are not done yet a new management addresses the end game grind of cog disguises promotions that progressively get worse from salvation to boss you do this we decided to take things from square one okay promotion experience calculations as part of, under new management we'd like to establish new rules when it comes to promotion experience and promotion requirements currently all cogs provide a promotion experience equal to half of their cog level rounded up with our changes promotion experience will be easier when getting promotions from cog buildings and cog facilities good 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 this is a trivia question i would sometimes ask uh people who play toontown I'm like how many merits does a cog drop it's always people it's always way less than what people cast but they're you know yeah level nine cogs grant nine merits instead of five yeah no they shouldn't have they should never grant five that's way too little um so yeah good change Version 2 COGs now drop twice the amount of promotion experience directly reflecting their COG level. Cool. Promotion system for all COG size disguises blah, blah, builds around a particular golden ratio formula that adds the two. I feel like they're just uh, explaining this part in an overly complex way to be like, well, don't worry. We did this in the most fancy way. We did all these calculations to make sure that the best experience will be had by our players who max the cog bosses. <laughs> Admittedly, the system worked. Um, okay, yeah. Currently, our data indicates that we managed to balance our facilities to give enough promotion experience. Blah, blah, blah. To be honest, um, <laughs> and the reason I think this is kind of silly where it's like, we use a golden ratio formula is because I think there's these types of things you just got to release to the public you just got to see what their you know response is um I, there's no like one size fits all solution to how much of a grind the you know player base should have it depends from game to game it depends on you know how much grind the player base wants to have in all honesty i kind of think that the community is going to react negatively to this because people who've already maxed, you know, are going to feel kind of cheaped out uh, when it comes to like law bot and boss bot. Is that a good reaction to have to quality of life uh, changes? If I'm going to be honest, probably not. Um, the fact that TTR let this get so bad for so long and let something like the back nine stay in their game for over a decade. Um, is uh, it's really hard for me to basically come up with any reason why, you know, shortening the grind on a MMO that clearly had a ballooning, or not ballooning, but like a inflated grind because it was a membership-based subscription game. You know, it's it's really, it's, I, I don't know how I'm supposed to come out here and be like, yeah, I want you to do more back nines. Or no, I, you know... You waited too long, so you gotta always, you know, have the back nine. I think that's really silly. Um, I think there's a lot of quality of life improvements. We wouldn't, we wouldn't, you know, um, that wouldn't fall into that category, you know. The people who did complain about the sprint button didn't complain that, like, people could, you know, complete the game faster for it. Um, and that's not fair. I, I It's a hard thing with MMOs um, because I think... A lot of MMOs, if they want to survive, they kind of have to streamline things. And that, that's kind of why I question the sound thing, because sound just streamlines the game, period. So, like, nerfing it, uh, it's not really a nerf, though. Anyways, that's my long-winded way of saying I we just got to see how players react. If I had to guess, they're going to react negatively. Again, I don't really know the general community's reaction to this. I have asked a few people. I see my Discord's reaction. Um, I don't think my Discord's reaction is the actual player bases you know reaction they're biased in their own way they're biased in their own ways of course um so okay mr hollywood levels 
Um, and again, these numbers, I have a hard time being like, I'm going to analyze the numbers because I just don't know how these numbers are going to pan out um, with the new systems and with the new, it's, it's really hard to get a feel for it without playing it yourself, without actually maxing it yourself. So, okay, what are my thoughts? Um, yeah, good. Uh, d good. Lower the grind. That's always a good thing. Um, I'm never going to complain about that. <laughs> Will it make your player base angry? Maybe. Probably. I, yeah. But it's weird because it's like you should have done this earlier, but I can't complain that you're doing it now. Um, running a big cheese promotion. Okay, so that was like four pages so we breeze through them cog facilities cog facilities you once knew are going to do things a little differently all cog headquarters now only provide two distinct facilities for players to enter okay so this is a good idea it was always really stupid that you had, <laughs> you had one factory but two entrances and then you had three mints and then you had four offices which is ridiculous and then you had three golf courses. Okay, just leave it at two. Cool. Fine. Um, not really fine, but that's a good idea. Uh, three is probably a bit much. Four was definitely pushing it. Because you're basically... And my main reason I say this is because if you add four tiers to one dungeon, you're going to split up your player base um, unnecessarily. Or in a, a you know very stupid way. Because, honestly, <laughs> you're going to have people who are waiting around to do a B office or a C office when it would just make more sense to not have those in the game and force them to basically do, you know, multiple A offices or a D office. Um, and then just make up your mind. Oh, okay, that's... Sorry! Sorry you're going to have to do multiple A offices. Sorry there's no one-size-fit-all facility. Just, you know, live with it, right? <laughs> okay. <sighs> Alrighty, the cog still these ones new. Yeah, uh, okay. As you might expect, those who take on the challenge will be rewarded with a considerable amount of promotion experience for their cog disguises. Ex exponentially. Ex no, wait, that's not exponentially. My bad. Okay, the facilities and their less challenging forms are designed to be created towards tunes who acquire them during their task lines. Okay, that's interesting. We have adjusted over 200 late like, game tune tasks to accommodate for these. Okay, uh, cog facility types. Okay, that's cool. So uh, they did redo a lot of, I'm assuming this is DDL task line. Maybe some of the Berg, but cool. Um, uh, yeah, 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 cool. If you're going to redo a big part of the game, you, that's that's good that they're going back and actually, you know, reassessing those things. Cog bosses. In the spirit of removing the excess bloat of cogs and facilities, we've revisited some cog bosses and reevaluated how many players are expected to fight altogether or how many cogs players are expected to fight altogether. VB is the ideal candidate, which has remained unchanged from this update. Great. It's still terribly easy as you can see in VB ring. And yeah, you're not, you're never, you're never going to agree to anyone in VPs these days. In contrast, the CJ slash CEO fight received more attention to address the known bloating concerns for the time being. We are currently not making any other standard changes. Okay, the cogs in these bosses are being diligently monitored during the playtest. Okay, maybe this part will change. Because, okay, yeah, see, and this is the thing. I, <laughs> I don't know, it's like, okay, yeah. They're, the following patch notes are subject to change. And that's like, oh, so does that mean, like, all of this, all of this that we just went through can be subject to change? Well, okay, but, like, this part is probably subject to change. And it's like, oh, okay, well, were you just lying up there? <laughs> like... Uh, wow. Yeah, I don't know. Um, okay. What are we doing? Uh, what do we got next? Cog attacks. As the last cherry on top, we'd like to address the discrepancies of cog damage across the four cog departments. Oh my god. I can't believe they're doing this. This is honestly probably like the best thing of the update. As some enthusiasts may know, subbots are considered the most powerful of cogs due to their abundance of group attacks. Meanwhile, boss bots wield nothing except for the yes man. <laughs> That's always a trivia question. What boss bot has an AoE as the yes man? Synergy. We'd like to aim 
for all these cog departments to be on somewhat equal footing and overall strength. So we're introducing a couple of new attacks to the cog departments that need it. Additionally, we're giving some extra love to tier 8 cogs by giving them a signature attack. This is a fantastic idea. This is wonderful. Um and this is this is and this is um this is something that like TTR is really good when it comes to a lot of like presentation. Um say what you will about field offices and the boiler. I've said a lot about the boy <laughs> but the presentation second to none this is a really really cool like high budget way um to actually you know do this there's the quick fix way that uh, in all honesty clash did where you give them you know other cog attacks or unreleased cog attacks like song and dance um the tier eight cogs so they actually have you know aoe's and hollywoods aren't the only ones with power trip but the, the higher budget way is, you know, to go out of your way and actually create, you know, signature attacks, which is really cool. Toontown, um, when it was made, had a lot of, you know, it's it was kind of a mess, um, especially, like, budget-wise. And this resulted in a lot of weird cut corners. A big cut corner there was, you know, the final cogs of the facilities not having signature attacks which is nonsense it's terrible um so yeah great wonderful this is like the best part of the update okay so apparently the finalized visuals of new cog attacks at this time um okay you can expect placeholder attack okay so okay <laughs> okay we still have to kind of wait all right whatever fair enough so they're doing the clash thing while we wait for them to be finished i i do wonder the probably new Dave Cog attacks are going to be in this. I assume the managers, which I guess that wasn't really a part of this. Actually, we didn't talk at all about the managers. Oh my God. It's like, this 42 minutes. Oh my God. Okay. So I think we're about done here. Um, that's going to be uh, fun to edit. Uh, hopefully I can get this out tonight. I think I will. <laughs> um, okay. So this is probably the best part of the update. Um, like I was saying, we didn't talk about the managers, um, since this was really just gameplay, um, and, you know, not gameplay, I'm an idiot. Um, this was really just, uh, the gag, you know, core mechanics. Not much to do with the, you know, ma the, the mechanics of the managers. <laughs> Informed feedback is infinitely more valuable than initial reactions. Okay, thank you for reading. Now that we're at the end, we would like to personally thank you for taking the time to read all these changes happening in Toon Down Arena. You're welcome. You're welcome. Uh, kind of coach, yes, you're welcome. When it comes to something as drastic and scary as game balance, it's important for us to involve you all in our thought process so that the community can understand why these changes are made. Toon Down means so much to all of us, and we want to get uh, nostalgia. <laughs> Nostalgia strike. I I have to force myself to read this part. Nostalgia strikes a chord with many of our players playing this game, and us as well. But hopefully, this different tune doesn't take much away from what the original game provided. These changes are made from a big mix of observation, gameplay, and community feedback. Uh community feedback. Who was requesting the manager fight chain? I I don't know. It, are they referring to? I. It's weird with these types of you know documents because i think they're just referring to like these changes like what we just went over not the uh, big you know you know chunk of the update which is you know the actual bosses the new you know clashified bosses i mentioned clash way more than i i said i was going to oh well it happens <laughs> it usually happens so okay But there's no way these are perfect. Above all else, we want your feedback. We'd love to hear your thoughts about the changes we've made, as well as the ones you'd like to see in the future. Before you write off any of these changes, of course, please take some time to play and give them a fair shot. Informed feedback is... And they, they're just correct about that. I I can be I can be cynical all I want. I can be like, oh my god, TGR, oh what? But they're right. Um, A big issue with a lot of things, and especially game design, is... A big change happens. The community goes, oh my god, and loses their mind and doesn't even try to play it or understand it or, you know, get, you know, a reason for why they did it. 
this is one thing that like <laughs> there's certain things you have to play when it comes to the promotion changes this isn't something that you can really pin down um you know by any like magical chart or by any you know anything i don't think i think you have to you know you have to play through it yourself and you know figure out if it's good or not i think that like original toontown it's really really like the sub hq grind when i was a kid was fine it took a little bit cash bet hq eh, took a little bit as well but it still was it still felt like a lot at least when i was a kid lava hq I think I got to, like, big wig because I would, like, ditch people, but that's a, another topic for another day. And Boss Bay I never really touched, even though I liked the CEO fight. Um, because the grind was just way too much, and you get that feeling just from playing it for, like, two seconds. You don't really need, like, you know, to think about this, like, really too hard to figure out that, you know, the Boss Bay HQ grind is too much. Now, what is, you know, not too much, or what is a satisfying, you know, feel... That's really hard to figure out, um, and you gotta kind of you gotta work with the community to figure something like that out. I don't know if I trust anyone. <laughs> I don't know what the uh, the sweet spot is um, for this, and it's it's a messy situation. And I wouldn't want to make it myself if I'm gonna be honest. Um, I would not want to <laughs> be in charge of how many facilities someone has to do to max, um, you know, a suit. I think that would be annoying to have to figure out. Anyways, if you'd like to drop us some feedback, um, we want the idea of Rudon's to be an open dialogue, so don't hesitate to create proposals or have conversations on social media as well. We only ask that you present your opinions respectfully and with kindness towards the team and other tunes, even if you disagree with something. We're, we're working together. So, like, okay, um, if you want anyone to ever listen to you, yeah, you're going to have to be, like, respectful. Um, my problem with people in the comments who complain about the evil news videos and what I say is they don't give me any reasons. I don't care. Be disrespectful. Sure, whatever. Fine. It's the internet. I Sure. I, like, what am I going to do? <laughs> I'm, I'm, <laughs> oh, my God. You're so rude to me. I, I get mad when people don't give me their reasons for, like, good reasons. Oh, my God. It's a kid's game. Oh, shut up. Okay. Anyways, that's... Uh, okay, I went on for a long time. I don't know if I said it. I feel like I said a lot, but not that much all at the same time. Um, at the end of the day, I I think this actually was more positive than I thought I was going to be. And I thought it was going to be pretty positive. I don't know if I have anything too negative about this update. The stun bonus is great. Um... Stumbo, uh, is it great? Uh, well, I'll give it, like, a solid good. The battle interface, I, I, it's, it, this is, like, the most mid thing ever. It's just, like, sure, whatever. It's no change. Uh, tune-up, I, no change. Throw, I question, but, eh, I feel like it's, again, because it's doing this, no change. Lure is a fantastic change. Sound is a questionable change that I don't think will do much. For the game as a whole. Drop, I am annoyed by. Honestly, the treatment of drop is probably what annoys me the most. Um, <laughs> the, the biggest issue I have with this update is they didn't buff drop. They didn't do enough to fix drop. Uh, trap, uh, the quest, weird. Sure, why not? This, uh, kind of amusing, but their reasoning makes sense. Um, this is great. Actually giving version 2 cogs a you know new gameplay mechanic. Fantastic. Wait, I didn't. I wait. I missed this part. Any new management addresses the end game grind of Cognizant's promotions. I didn't miss this part. I'm an idiot. I thought they were gonna address the um the front three issue at the end of the game's task line. Oh well, I they need to fix that. But that's a topic for another day. Okay. The promotion experience I think is a net positive overall for the game to streamline it. Again, where is that sweet spot? I don't know. Um, I think. The big thing is, and people sometimes get, like, really hyper-specific on the details, TTR doesn't need to figure out the perfect, you know, the perfect sweet spot. They, But, like, anything they do is going to be better than Boss Bet HQ's current state. Anything they do is going to be better than Lob HQ's current state. So, just let them at least fix it.
Or at least fix it a little bit. Even if Boss HQ is still grueling in the end. Okay, that was a lot. Oh my god, that I went on for like an hour. Oh dear god almighty. Okay. Ugh. Or was this like 15 minutes? I, it's in two recordings. Okay, so final uh, things here. I would first of all like to address the main thing that people have been telling me or bringing up about this update. Uh, ditching is impossible now. It, they didn't mention it in this document, but you're now teleported to the foreman or, you know, supervisor whenever someone, you know, gets into battle with it. Everyone is dragged there like the laser cogs. I question how this works if someone's already in a battle. Hopefully it doesn't break the game like the laser cogs. It'd be kind of funny if it did break the game like the laser cogs. I doubt it will. I bet it will, you know, work properly, sadly. Um, so yeah, ditching is probably dead. Um, I guess there's a short period of time where maybe, possibly, I could do more ditching. I don't... I kind of feel like the, those series were played out. The last episode of Running from the Law, 41, I think. I think it's 41. Yeah, I think we had 41 episodes. I think is a great finale. Um, even more speechless. Uh, it's like two hours long. I think that is the, like, perfect send-off for Running from the Law, in all honesty. I don't think we're ever going to top that <laughs> if you haven't seen it you should probably watch it uh even though you don't watch the whole thing uh it's quite it's quite a ride um things like factory ditching had already played out their course and were kind of meme series where i literally was titling episodes pointless series back nine ditching i it was too much of a hassle to do and it was gonna give me like a heart attack uh <laughs> i was like screaming like in agony over <laughs> Over how close some of those were, if you go back to that series. Um, and I think I'm fine with this. Um, I, uh, I think that, like I said, the Ditching series have kind of run their course. Um, I think these new managers will present new interesting series for me to pursue if we want to pursue them. I think Angry Golfers could have a very cool resurgence under this new, um, this new manage manager system i do have a weird like underlying feeling though that like i the point of time we're at right now when this video is releasing is a point of time where you know that the past is gonna be gone forever and i don't know maybe i'll do something before the end of this maybe i'll do some more final bulk recording um of you know these facilities these old facilities um maybe i won't i don't really know i I like being kind of vague with my answers because I don't like, you know, people, you know, trying to find me and being like, oh, it's going to yield twin. And, uh, yeah, uh, DTR bans me in two seconds. Uh, watch the band speeder runs. So I don't really get incentivized for, you know, basically being too upfront with my plans. I'm going to be honest, though. I genuinely don't really know what I'm going to do, um, at least before. I assume I'll probably m play around with the managers. We'll see what what mechanics they entail, what exactly I can do with them. I don't know what I can do with them until I, you know, I'm hands-on with them. It's really hard to figure out, you know, what to do, you know, what you can do with these these types of things um, until you see the boss. Okay, what else? Anything else? Um, VP greening is still probably, like, dead. I, why am I bring up VP greening? VP greening is unchanged. They didn't do anything with it. They didn't do anything with the VP. So why did I bring it up? I don't know. This is the most energy I've had talking about Toontown. I don't even know why. But, like, ah, I'm glad I had this much energy. Um, that's my thoughts on the balance. The balance. Re-update. Re-update balancing patch notes. Playtest update thing. Where they nerf sound, but not really nerf sound. Overall thoughts. Good. I think this is good. I don't have really any complaints. My only complaint is that drop is still a garbage gag track that needs to do more damage. <laughs> so there you go. There's my positive. There's your positive, like, 40-minute TTR. I don't know how long this video is going to be. I, I, I don't know how much of this I'm going to edit out. I think I was relatively amusing um, throughout this thing, even though it was so long. Anyways, um, join Discord. Uh, follow my Twitch. Uh, the, the, if you want to donate me a tune... Uh, DM me on Twitch. If I haven't gone back to you and you have DM me on, or not Twitch, and you have DM me on Discord, 
Uh, my bad. I can sometimes be out of the loop and of this community or things. Um, depending on what's happening or what demands my attention. So, uh, yeah, if you ever did send me a tune, or if you sent me a tune and I did respond and took it, uh, and I just never got around to using it, uh, give me a heads up on that. Especially since we're getting to a time where there is going to be new content that's going to be interesting for me to, you know, record. Something here is going to be interesting for me to record. And maybe, possibly, I'll iron out a few other old series. I don't know. Tell me in the comments what you want, if I'm going to be honest. Since this is the final time that, you know, <laughs> that some of these series can ever, you know, happen. I, and I don't think that's really an overstatement. I think the past is kind of going away on these on some of these um you know factory edition is gonna be impossible if you if everyone gets dragged to the foreman god this was long i i'm surprised i talked this long about ttr oh my god and it wasn't just seething negativity good job ttr so yeah i don't know i, I this is very positive um and i don't really have that much negative to say i'll probably have more negative to say when i see the uh, actual boss fights because i haven't dug into those yet um, I'm not a fan of their designs. Um, I don't, I wouldn't go as far as like Jimmy where Jimmy's like, they look like they're made with AI. Like, okay. I, I, that's probably a bit extreme. Um, I just think they look uninspired, outdated. I think a big issue with them is that they look so much like old Toontown models, but they're not made in the year 2000. So they're like HD, but they're not animated. I get the Clash style with animated cogs. I've, like, given up on not trying to mention Clash. But I get that style is a little bit different, um, more cartoony, and less in the traditional Toontown style. But I really feel like they're just too stiff, and they just don't... I don't think they have animations. I don't think they ever added them. I'm going off what we saw at Toonfest um, with these. Okay, I need to stop talking about this nonsense so i can actually edit this video and get it out in a reasonable amount of time or tonight because it's going to be weird if i can't get this out tonight well it's going to be like early morning if i if i don't get it out day one anyways thank you so much for watching if you somehow made it to the end tell me in the comments you made it to the end i i i said this in the um what is it called the uh rank of law 41 the like two hour one i said at the end of that video like <laughs> let me know in the comments if you made it through the end i was very surprised at how many people commented and said they made it through the end and i was like wow I, i'm glad you were able to enjoy it that long so uh if you were able to make it to the end tell me in the comments um tell me what you think of this update i genuinely don't know how the community feels about this i have some assumptions i have some assumptions that a lot of the community is more negative than i am about this but i don't know i don't know maybe ttr is gonna embrace change yeah uh, uh, lol but anyways thank you all for watching and i'll see you all later in something i don't know what the next video will be